Okay, servus and uh, hello people today. Um, today we talk quietly because I set up my microphone. No, we don't. Um, I just adjusted my, my microphone. I have a Logitech headset. It's a hanging out video, by the way. Hanging out, just I can do whatever I want. And so no one is watching it. <laughs> But it's okay. Um, I have a new uh, Logitech uh, headset um, since a year or something, or a half year, I don't know. And uh, I, I had to adjust a little bit uh, the audio um, in OBS. Basically, I turned off the the, the blue way, uh, blue way, the blue voice filter in Logitech and turned on my old settings for my old microphone, which was a standing microphone. And I don't like the standing microphones; they make you look way more important than you are and are completely for i say 90 percent of people not necessary it's it's just you know just look at me i, st I talk into a microphone <laughs> and it's okay if you like them use them it's fine i i also have them still you know and i also may use them when i feel like now i want to get every single bit quality out of it but is it, 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 it necessary? Eh, no, not really. But that's also okay, you know. Just because it's not necessary doesn't mean you shouldn't use it. Anyway, now this is out of my system. Um, I'm just um, yeah, I'm working a little bit on my robot arm. It's I like the robot. Uh, I like robots, I think. And um, yesterday I um, uh, made this animation, which is an animation. It's not a simulation or a physical simulation. And um, I'm gonna briefly talk about this because why not? And then I'm maybe gonna try something. So actually, I'm never gonna finish my car animation because I'm um, I, I always get distracted. But so I fell a little bit bad. But it might be not bad to play around with those settings. Maybe um, those things will find. Uh, playing around with you know with what you've learned might be useful when I um, focus later on a little bit better. So I have when I learn something new, I have a new tool which I can use for what am I whatever I'm making, right? So anyway, let's um, hide this one here. It's just you know I thought it's it's looking better, but I want to do something. Let's put this one minus minus one minus one. No, see, I actually never do that like that. Sorry. For me, I just wanna. Ah, okay, it's technically minus 0 0.5. Also not. It's minus like so. What the heck? Okay, this whole thing is not really. Anyway, it shall it shall just uh, look acceptable. Uh, this one here is a placeholder. Uh, the robot arm is for my car animation, but it will be not doing what you probably think a robot arm is doing in a car animation. Um, probably, maybe you will know, maybe you are very imaginative. imaginative. So, um, sorry, I'm just, I want to just, why, do, why am I doing this anyway? Okay, um, Ah, I know. I know why I'm doing this. I have to go to asset or uh, folder and then I'm gonna use my new favorite material things I set up. Um, they are really, really cool. Look at this. They basically... Um, I recorded a video um, how to make... Oh, the principle, sharing the principle. Well, I actually recorded like, I think, meanwhile, four videos and I only uploaded one because I um, I never sure if I should upload that. To be honest, I always feel like I don't know if this is necessary. Um, so I record stuff, talk in English, so it's a good practice, and uh, I can talk about my stuff, which I also love. <laughs> and maybe this is all I need. Anyway, maybe this is all I need. So you can see there is like um, the advantages. See, I'm gonna show you this briefly. Why not? Again, hanging out video. Um, I thought that this is a great way if you want to later on just bake your images onto a texture, nonsense, onto a, as a texture onto an object. Um, and then you can do stuff like this, you know, and this is just so good. 
it's, you know, it's not perfect. You have to. I mean, in this setup, it, it's basically it works because uh, what happens sometimes is you get a mirror. So uh, yeah. Anyway, so maybe I should upload this. So it's a, it's a principal video. Not none of those videos are tutorials. Maybe that's the reason I didn't upload them because they are just covering stuff. But I don't want to do like full. Uh, tutorials. It's I I I'm gonna be too distracted, um, and so on. Yeah, but maybe. Anyway, um, this is just a side thing. I just like the how the cubes looking. Uh, looking, you know, here's all the power productions, singularity is love, and so on and so on and he 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 he. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's get to the yoga. Um. So yesterday, I wanted to have an uh just to see how i can yeah exactly now I'm, I'm i'm getting it together after five minutes approximately um yesterday i was thinking on how i could optimize that the robot arm in an animation grab something and then while grabbing it's it has to be a, a child of the arm something like this so i actually set it up like that first but it didn't work as i I hope for. So what's happening here basically um, is bum, bum, bum. if I where is it? Um, let me just think. Thinking is always a little bit of a problem here. Yeah. So this is moment. Uh, moment on. This is uh, at the moment. This is where I can animate the robot arm. I could also animate this in uh, with. Uh, my bones, uh, those are bones, they just look like sticks because you can change the appearance of the bones, but basically they are just bones. Um, nothing else has changed except how they are presented to me um, or to us. So I think you can do this somewhere. Somewhere, where can you change the viewport thing? Yeah, so I always struggle with that. Uh, here. You can change it from, I think, this is the default, I think, yeah, to just sticks. I like sticks for, um, you know, mechanical stuff. It makes, makes sense to me. Anyway, um, yeah, so I could also grab this guy. No, nonsense. I could also grab this guy, but he's right now locked to, uh, yeah, he's basically uh, a child of the empty, which I called uh, stick objects to, you know. Uh, this was also yeah. so and that means i can just in the object mode um use my my guy because this is i don't know this is the one thing on blender which really irritates the heck out of me i probably there's a reason for it i think that either there is a it's difficult to to, to program that which i could uh, imagine but i'm not sure or it's um maybe too destructive when you can be in the object mode for example and then get another window and let's say you would like to be simultaneously in the um, post mode. So you have, you can see, even if I have two windows or even if I create another window, I always will have, I always be forced to be either in the object mode or in the post mode, which I really would rather just have the ability, for example, right side on the post mode, left side on the, on the uh, object mode, it's not uh, possible, it seems, at least not in the standard way. There might be a workaround or something. I asked ChatGPT, but uh, boy, 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 it's too complex. It, you know, I need this is not doable by default, that's for sure. And um, I'm saying that's for sure. I hope this is <laughs> for sure. <laughs> uh, feel free to correct me. Um, I would be happy in this case, actually. Um, yeah, I would. The, I'm not sure if this would be better or more confusing. I just cannot test it, obviously. Um, so I, I would assume it would be, from my use case, better if I could be simultaneously, simultaneously in object mode and pose mode at the same time. Maybe it's uh, not good. So anyway, 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 anyway. So where was I? I said something about uh, something. So, um, yeah, exactly. So I was trying. Yeah. So basically, this uh, this empty, which is called stick objects here, 
this is a you know a sentence for me it means Lucas stick objects uh, to here <laughs> and <clears throat> and then um, you're gonna be happy so I can control uh, the rig and so let's go get to the other thing the let me just turn off maybe certain things which are overdone follow path it's it's not necessary to show um, and maybe why yeah I'm gonna turn off another thing because this is too confusing yeah, yeah it's getting cleaner huh and then maybe and this is another thing which slightly bothers me I mean this is really complaining we say in Germany on a high level uh, if something is really good and you're still being like a pain in the ass and complain about everything although it's actually pretty good that means you're complaining on a high level um, I think this is also an English sentence I don't know um, uh, you know you, it's n you probably know what I mean or you have it anyway um, so I'm complaining on a high level meaning um, I could just be happy and shut the hell up because you know I'm, it's for free I'm getting all blend of things for free so there's also if I'm not sure but if I was would ask my friends if you could get something use for something for free your right to complain about things are very limited let's say that way <laughs> you didn't pay anything you didn't you know do anything to to contribute so you have basically no right you can still do it but uh, technically you you know yeah anyway but uh, let's say it more like um, constructive criticism let's see let's, let's use that um, I would also like to to be able to hide uh, the lights separately like you know like this but only the lights that would be a nice option if I could just just to hide the lights but the light as they are would still shine so I would only hide this and it's probably possible if I go into this menu so um, let's say let's see no it hides this thing too um, maybe can I change this what happened if I change this into bound for example nothing of course because it's what was the default now yeah. so you can hide them here yeah, but then also you hide the, the light you know so I mean this you can hide a little bit okay well yeah yeah so yeah that would be nice if there would be an option to uh, under extras you know maybe there is an just on seat then I'm gonna be screwed like, uh, no I don't see anything so no I mean yeah relationship lines but they kind of important in uh, this yeah like, oh yeah yeah oh no okay okay it, it works but um it also hides the other extras that's that's my complaint so i i wasn't <laughs> you've already you can do that you can hide it and then it, yeah yeah but then also um what i mean is oh no i said it actually only the lights not the empties so only light as a source if i could hide them would be helpful because i like the light i like to see it because i'm visual very visual i'm a visual learner and i need something to see um so that would be a nice option but again it's it's a, it's fine you know it's not that we have to be freak, uh, freak out about this um so i'm just gonna put them into a different uh new collection let's say lights and then we just gonna always i like to keep them up you know it's like the the light shines upon us so it's already cleaner and it also works so okay let's get to the to our dose here and my goal is today but I might not gonna go through it for this because of any when I realize it takes too much time then I should uh, maybe just continue working on my car assembling uh, facility which probably also not looks like you would expect it looks um, so okay the way I did it so now it's uh, let me check almost 15 minutes later <laughs> is um, yesterday I started I thought okay I have the, the that's the, those this is a can so I sometimes say those because I think it's English but it's actually just a German word it, it's a German English sounding word I, for some reason my brain thinks that it's a can when I say dose or those um, I mean can so um, yeah just keep that in mind 
Um, so if I have the can here, um, so I thought yesterday, let's go into the constraints. Um, so the way it works, so yesterday I, had, I, I was thinking it would be, it makes sense to use, so when you have the, this is my object, the dose, um, the, the can object. So the can object shall, shall I'm gonna hide everything else. So the can object right now sticks to the uh, stick objects here empty. Can object uh, sticks to the empty. And I thought um, it would be good if I use a, being a child of. But being a child of uh, also means you, you connect this to to something you can choose. So um, the, the can shall be a child of the object I pick. But you also, um, you, you also, well, for some reason I, I encountered so many problems um, starting from where the dose should be, uh, the can should be, um, also the scale was a problem. You can turn off scale and rotation and stuff like this. But overall I really had a lot of problems with child of things, maybe because the objects are not um, properly applied. That could be a reason that, um, because I just, they, they actually, the original you can see scale would be also different. You can reset scale by uh, old, and then S, so this is the original scale. So and I changed the object scales. Um, none of the scales are applied. Um, the, the, also the robot arm is still in his construction shape and it, it was not meant to be like a super accurate robot arm. I just needed something funny, I thought, and now it's looking cool, but it's um, not an, uh, you know, I didn't have a scale in mind while building that. Um, Anyway, so what I'm saying is child of wasn't working. Um, so I instead of that, I what I did is, you can already see that, is I say copy location. That means um, here I have copy location from stick objects here. And stick objects here, there is an original. By that I mean, um, I think it must be this guy, yeah. So stick object here. This is the original because it has all it. It's named like this, and this one already is um, uh, 001, 001. Um This is a copy. So this is the original. Anyway, so I'm just gonna jump to them, and this one here. Maybe I can show it like this. Oof, no, we need to can. Bam, 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 bam. What am I doing? What am I doing? I might so. Okay, so okay, the idea I had was um, copy the location. Yeah, um, so now it's free, and I say when I put this here, I can say copy the location of um, the stick objects here of the robot arm. So. I'm going to reset that quickly. So it will copy that location. So now the robot arm can can grab it. And then you have to animate that. So, oh, actually, I mean, you could animate that. But the thing is how this works is um, every constraint I figured out, at least of copy location. So uh, I duplicated that. The next one is copy location you know, two and copy location three. And so when it's below that, um, so copy location two will basically override copy location one and copy location three seems to be also overriding copy location two. And this is a perfect way to um, actually make the those. Um, so we have here, maybe I can show the names or something that would be helpful. No, I can do that. Let me just do it in here. I figured it out. This is a new thing. Nope. We can, yeah, that's better. That's much better. This is much better. So names here. Okay. So and also, you know what? Let's name this. Uh, let's show the name here too. Let's see what name I choose. Dose Espul. Yeah, that's perfect. Then you can see it. Dose Espul. That's the um, um, uh, robot. Any uh, robot? Anime. The robot. Uh, ah, no, the, the 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 bike animation I, I did earlier. Maybe you. Uh, what well, I mean. I, you know, it's the one of the best things so far, and um, it's also um, a, a little things to to a, to a friend of supporting. So um, anyway, 
what I'm saying now, or what, uh, what I'm saying now, I, I get too distracted and I have to uh, find my way back. Um, so overriding, exactly. So uh, let's go back into here. So basically, um, I can show it like this maybe, but it's also animated uh, right now. So this is a little bit stupid. Maybe I can go into zero, maybe like so. Yeah. Let's see if this works. No, the problem is it cannot work. Um, you know what? Let me just copy this. Let me just create a new file um, so that you can that I can describe it to you without breaking my my project right now. So okay, well, we don't need that. Um, we don't need this one here. And uh, what is that? I'm probably uh, what is that? Oh, this is the okay, okay, <clears throat> okay. We can uh, can ignore this one here, and this one we can also ignore. Okay, but the adva advantage is here we can turn off the or we can just delete all the keyframes. Because then it's you can see the better than. Okay, let's um, activate this one here. So let's looks also nice in here. No? That's interesting. Um, we go into ah because of this. Yeah. I mean ray tracing is really really nice. It's a it's really cool. Uh, but it also changes some of the older projects. You have to adjust the, the light setting and 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 uh, material and uh, yeah, basically light plays a whole role. Uh, with, with ray tracing and I really really because of this stupid finger now I, I really need uh, a new graphics card so that I can make use of the um, you know you can you can feel how <sighs> yeah it gets old eh? it gets old but it's still good it's still good better than nothing that's for sure 2008 UPC but this is the this is the reason why I, now I really have more than uh, you know um, anyway, let's um, okay back to where I was. So I wanted to describe something here. That's right. So here, yeah. so I'm gonna go on my can, and now when I press this button, uh, when I sorry, when I activate enable uh, copy location first, then it will jump to my uh, to my robot um, uh, finger. And my robot arm will able <clears throat> will be able to hold that um, during the whole animation, you know. Yeah. So my robot arm is basically uh, still animated, and so he will just uh, hold it. And then I say, well, I would like to at some point at frame 80, for example, <clears throat> I wanna have the dose uh, the can on this position on stick objects here one, and then I just you know, say uh, turn on this one, and this does nothing. That's great. That's not ah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, important is also you have to uh, say influence 100, and you can see, even though I, I change this here, I can turn this on and off. It will not uh, affect uh, the can anymore because um, this the second one is overriding it, and this basically that's good because then you don't have to animate this the first one. You don't have to do anything. The first one is just um, working if the other one is not working. A little bit like a program, right? If this, the one is on yeah, anyway. I'm not a programmer. I might think that might be make sense, maybe not. So and then we can also the uh, do the the third one. Turn on the third one and also influence. And now I can wander between those guys. I also um, thought what's also possible is that you don't use the third location. You you completely ignore. Oh, let's just uh, delete that. And then I thought, okay, I could make it so at um, for frame 80, for example. The those, uh, the can, sorry, the can will, boom, 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 the can will follow, um, yeah, like this one, I think this one I animated because it's a little bit smoother, it gives the impression when you animate the influence, you you have also a little bit finer control when the dose is being transitioned from one position to the other, and it smooths the position because you could also just turn on this, and but this is too too harsh like in cut off you know you can feel in the animation it, it doesn't look right so influence turning down the influence gives you also the ability to smooth the transition between um, positioning the objects oh boy that's a couple of great sentences <laughs> came out of my mouth so um, yeah anyway so um, I thought 
I could actually maybe uh, transition the um, I don't need the second yeah that's what I thought so I wanted to go to uh, to this point uh, so I thought okay what if the the, the can is following um, so let's say here frame 50 I think um, let's do the animation quickly why not um, bum, bum, bum. so let's say um, yeah in this case uh, when uh, copy location you can rename that so it's gonna be easier for you to to know what you do, did I'm too lazy for that um, so in this case copy 2 I'm gonna uh, insert a keyframe pressing I says okay until frame 50 um, we have like um, uh, influence 1% we could duplicate that and make you know put it to here and now we have the whole from starting from 0 frame 0 to frame 50 uh, the position shall be of the of the can shall be here and then we're gonna say from frame 50 to 54 let's take this down and um, press i again and make another keyframe so what happens now is that now uh you can see the the uh robot arm is picking up the dose uh, the can um and that's great and then i thought well i maybe just need the one while the thing is in the air I just say while um, during this time, so until position 50, um, our empty would stay. And maybe you're already realizing this is <laughs> becoming a little bit of a mess. And then it will travel um, at some point, yeah, at position 150, it will travel to selection to cursor um, to this position. So and then we click on the those again and then we say this one turn on back on again but you can see this is this is a really a mess so it's it's getting it's maybe it's just me it could also be that it might be making more sense to you because now you only need like two position like two empties to to position and you can just you know drag this guy wherever you want to have it but you have to keep in mind when this uh, it's I don't know this is to me not a solution because it confuses the heck out of me so I, I rather 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 um, would like to have this solution where um, I, I basically uh, let me hide this thing here bum, bum. Um, this one also I also don't need yeah I think this solution works much better for me so it's it's easier to 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 also overview you know because i can always see okay this is position three this is position i mean right now because you know of the it has to be animated but technically i i can i can understand it better when i get lost so basically i say you know because the overriding system i like so if this is turned off um during let's right now it's also animated so it's confusing um shall we do this together maybe yeah, let's do this together. Why not? Then it's also easier to understand if I just described it well. Yeah, let's do this together. Um, we need back our. Do you need the whole thing? Or is this enough for you? Um, I think this is good enough, but I'm going to turn off um, some visual ex things here. <sighs> what is this thing? Um, 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 bones, 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 deform. Oh man, where is it? I always struggle with that. It's this, this is just me. I cannot, um, if, if anything is me, then this is me that I, <sighs> I struggle with finding options. Doesn't matter how well I know a program. Um, maybe I have to be in the, I, I shouldn't be in the thing, but let's just be in the edit mode. Maybe this is helpful. Um, view display yeah, here we go oh here we go this this guy here you know this is to me to me it's the same thing there is no difference to me it's one data and bone if i have the bone both a screen 
it it means to me this the same thing i cannot my, my brain is not able to distinguish that it, or it isn't just just you know fuck it i'm not gonna do this so often anyways let's i don't need to memorize that let's save it for something else yeah i may i think it's that <laughs> so i'm good at finding excuses um uh yeah so okay um yeah okay let's just imagine is this i hope this is okay for you that this um um maybe could i hide you want to see this one yeah it should be it should be enough okay you can see this the bone let's see the bone also as an object you know um this is how we're going to do the animation and i do not the bone animate uh, the, the, so i'm going to just delete the whole uh, can animation so that's the best thing and we start off so we start off and the the way you're doing is uh, you can do this is up to you um but basically right now the 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 can is free and also what i should keep in mind is the position of the original plays a role but i cannot describe to you what i mean by that exactly but um i think it gives a more precision if this one is also exactly where it should be um but for now you know it doesn't have to be super perfect to understand <clears throat> how to do that <clears throat> that's just from for myself okay um that's um, a reminder for myself let's get started so we have the animation you can hmm, this drives me a little bit nuts that i hope you understand that this one can i hide this somehow hmm. okay anyway so you can see um try to focus on on this guy here so this is the sticky guy maybe i can make this bigger so um this is the the <clears throat> sorry this is the point the the the, the grabbing point of of uh, uh robot arm so and um you should basically ignore mm, this guy ignore please oh well, let me just uh, clear my voice for a second okay yeah it's always coffee it's always the when i coffee i feel like uh, recording but it's really not a good um uh, thing for for recording anyway so um what I also uh, thought is while I was posing, I was thinking my 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 hanging out videos are not hanging; they always describe something. So it's it's so I was kind of in the middle. Anyway, um, let's um, get to that. So please ignore this line here. This one bone is just um, just ignore this. this one long bone, basically this guy, and uh, for your imagination okay <clears throat> so my voice is still not clear uh, anyway um no oh, wait i got i got a <laughs> girlfriend is screaming i gotta go check on her <laughs> there's a huge moth in the in the kitchen uh, but it's hiding right now so i might gonna go again anyway um uh where was i now uh, i was um yeah so ah, okay let's do the animation quickly um Okay, so right now our can is free, and uh, uh, when we say when we turn on copy location first, it will jump to our robot arm, which we don't want right now. Um, so, but we're gonna turn it on anyways because I used in this case um, two empties. Or I, I, let's say, surely I could just um, have the can uh, original position at um, you know, and then. So I would not need the first one, but I like the jumping from empty to empty. Let's say that way. I'll, the, the jumping from one empty to the other empty makes sense to me. Okay, and also you know it follows the world uh, space. I think that makes all sense. But you can always you know f yeah correct and show make your tutorial or whatever. I know if it's helpful and faster and not as complicated, <clears throat> then you should definitely do that. So if you have an idea, it's it's better and less complicated. Um, that's that's the best thing. I always like. I don't like the complicated stuff. It has to always be as simple as possible. Um, okay. So um, so okay. Let's just turn this on. 
and then we're gonna override that. So that's important. At frame, um, at frame one, I'm gonna say uh, I would have, and you can see it shows that this is the blue. I was not visible, not visible, interesting. Anyway, but the blue line here, it shows um, it's connected to um, this, to the empty here, and it's connected to the other empty. So, uh, yeah, uh, the constraints are connected. Okay, um, let's say at frame one, the can shall be at um, stick objects here, empty 001. And we're gonna say influence 100%. It says one, but let's view it like 100%. Um, I'm gonna press I. Now I have a keyframe, and I think I have to select my my object too. So at at um, yeah frame one. Now we're gonna go ahead into the timeline, and we wait until our robot arm arm robot arm. <laughs> this is now American. Arm is not picking up. <laughs> picking up the or oh, at 50. I think 50 is the is the yeah what I set up. So now the position is good. So at 50, like uh, we did earlier a little bit, we say um, yeah still we say um, the uh, position two shall last from zero one uh, from frame <laughs> from frame one to frame 50. And uh, frame 45 seems to be a good uh, frame where we say drag it down. We're gonna, no, we don't say drag it down. This is the, a little bit confusing, but I also have to keep remind myself. We, we jump, <clears throat> oh, nonsense, nonsense. See, I get already confused. Good, we do this together. Um, at point 54, we uh, go. Uh, turning down the percentages to zero and uh, insert another keyframe with I and now we have the animation where our uh, robot arm can pick the, the can and it has it forever until we say um, let's change this so our robot arm eventually will go to this position like we had earlier at frame 150 because that, that's what I set up earlier and um, so I would now turn, like to turn this one on. And uh, let's say the location three is now needed. So the, we want want to say the object shall now copy the location of uh, empty uh, three or two, you know, this side. And I know it's getting complicated, but you have to maybe if you get overwhelmed. Just try it yourself. Um, I'm going to show it a simpler way, maybe, um, to, to get a better understanding right after we are done with this. Um, OK, let's say influence is, um, yeah, we have to insert at frame 150 an I key. Oh, <laughs> so we have to make, you know, uh, insert a keyframe here, 150. And uh, it's zero right now. It's not working. And we go four frames, you know, ahead, and say and pull pull it up to 100% or to one, you know. Um, so and now it will, uh, yeah. Now it will left here because the other keyframes will be just overridden um, as long as this one is active. Um, I can prove this to you while I mean. Let's just watch the animation. So maybe you got what I was talking about. If this is too complicated, I'm gonna make right now an, a new. Yeah. I'm gonna show you what happens when I delete this one and this one and just say this is 100. And now it doesn't matter where the keyframes, uh, where we are in the timeline, you know, the, the position of the constraints will override everything. So. That's the, you have to keep in mind, and this is you know it's perfect for having an animation like this. I also thought about um, um, just keep that in mind. I'm, I'm not going to go through this right now. Let's just use our a can here. So let's make a new file, bump, and uh, let's just oh boy no okay let's make a completely new object whatever. Um, let's say we want to have a can. 
do I have? I have already some cans. No, I'll make it simple for you. So that you're not gonna get um, overwhelmed. Yeah, let's set it up very, very simple. And we don't have to change much. And we're gonna make it accurate by turning on this one. This is just, um, uh, how do I, what is it? A uh, snap, a snap function, exactly. So you key, this is when you turn this on and you drag your object, it will always snap to, um, to a certain position, I think. You can see that, you know, the difference. He is now snapping and this is completely free. You can see when we turn on snapping and we go to the right, it snaps, it always will be like, I think snapping one meter. So you never have weird numbers, you have like clean numbers if you turn this on. And this is helpful when you, you want to make another copy. I want to the left side, let's say, so minus six, one to the right, gives a little bit more control. Okay, but it's not needed, you just, you know, just set it up that you see it. Okay, yes, I'm gonna squeeze those guys. Nothing fancy, you don't have to pay attention to that. This is just the setup for our demonstration. Okay, so, and I need uh, empties, three, maybe four empties. So, e, okay, I see that, yeah. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. So I'm just, no, oh. oh, where's my empty? Ah, oh, let's get an empty again. Let's maybe use, hmm, 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 hmm. yeah, let's use those empties. It's the same empty, it just looks a little bit different. I made it bigger, and uh, sizing empties also plays a role, but not in our, uh, not in, in this case. At least that's what I think. So, okay, I'm just positioning and every, everything. And then I'm gonna name this um, P. Uh, how do I write position? Position. Position one. Yeah, that's good. Oh, let's just position A. I don't like that. It's, this is always like it makes me sleep. Um, happy place. Happy place. Is this place? How you write place? I hope so. If not, then I well made a mistake. And you freak out. Um, and this one is sad place. Yeah, that's much better. That's much better. So we have, uh, let's, you know, let's give it also. Let's give it also colors. So the happy place is yellow. Sad place. Ah, guess what? Here we go. Okay. That means I'm, I'm sitting in the side place right now because I like the darkness when I re uh, record or when I do uh, working on uh, Blender or play games or whatever. But I also like that anyway. Okay, it's just... Um, so how do we... Okay, what is important is um, the origin. Yeah, and okay, I'm just going to say that to you. So the, the colors of the, uh, those things are not really important. This is just for to make it more interesting looking. Um, I'm gonna get a little bit down that so we can see, pull them a little bit down that so we can see where the, you know, just to make it maybe minus 11, yeah, that's good. Okay, so because what is important are the origins. So I would say we're also gonna turn on origins so that we can see that. Let's turn on origins, all. Now we see every origin, if the object is selected or not. So this, you know, the white points here. The yellow points uh, is the is this guy here. Okay, let's, for, I think it's it's a nice idea to make them, you know, to show the, to show those things. However, it's also confusing. So I'm gonna say, um, um, bum, 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 bum. Yeah, what do I say? Um, height for now. Yeah, height for now. I'm gonna hide this because it's not important and it's confusing. So, um, okay. The idea is that we show. Um, yeah. The idea is that this guy will be animating. Will be animated. Um, okay, let me just think for a second, maybe I should, um, yeah, okay, let's just do it like that, um, I'm going to go ahead and this is, 
happy place sad place yeah we need to have the the names so that that's uh, gonna be helpful you know names 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 so I, I really I didn't intend to do that but yeah anyway so and this one also this is just the empty and let's just call this grab so okay and this is a um a cube <laughs> This is a cube as it was before. Anyway, so this is a cube. And uh, so now we want the cube to be uh, grabbed by a grab. So let's do that. And let's say I want to, uh, let's go to the constraints, then add copy location and say grab. And it already works. And you can see it, it snaps to the empty. So um, right now our empty of the cube is in the middle and so it snaps to this position. Let's change that. Let's say um, in the edit mode and we're gonna say tab and we're going to edit mode and we select the bottom of the cube and then we're gonna press shift S, say cursor to select it. And now we jump out of the edit mode, object mode, right click on the object, set origin, origin to 3D cursor. Now the origin of the cube is on the bottom and now we're gonna turn this back on and that is good. Now the origin is, yeah, yeah, makes sense. So when I, you know, basically we can now um, drag the cube along this way. And um, I think, let me just, no, I don't know, over, overcomplicated, overcomplicated. I have to be careful with that. Okay, also may, you may be freaked out because the cursor is not in the middle. That's of the world. This happens sometimes when you press shift, right click with, uh, with your mouse. Hold shift down, right click. If you're new to Blender, this is, a, I always thought, man, why, what am I doing? You can just uh, press uh, shift S and then cursor to world origin. Sorry, cursor to world origin. Shift S, cursor to world origin, or do it uh, manually. Anyway, this is just uh, a way to, to fix that. If you don't like that, it's because it's not symmetrical anymore. Um, okay, so, yeah, now we have, you know, this one works. Let's animate our, so we wanna, we're gonna now that the cube is following our grab empty, we wanna animate the grab empty. And we say at frame one, um, so we have selected a grab empty, but frame, I'm gonna press I, insert keyframes, and this is, it only works when you have Blender 4.2, um, when you press I, that it, um, the keyframes are like this. So, um, yeah, so now our grab is at uh, frame one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go to frame 50 and drag, this is important, first go to frame 50 and then drag the grab to the position and press I again. Now we have an animation like the, the grab uh animation will just go to the left but i want to have in the middle let's say 25 uh going upwards so that we have a nicer animation curve it just it looks nicer and this is you know a little bit important because it it, ha it shall look and make sense with you know anyway <laughs> okay i'm gonna press i again and now when we play the animation it goes here boom that's great and now I would say at frame 20, uh, 75, the cube is going back. And we animate this manually. We could just copy it. Well, let's do it like that. We're gonna drag it here. Uh, nonsense. Let's say not by 100. Take it to in the middle. And this is still turned on and makes it easier. Press I again and go to frame 75. We also wanna have the point in the middle again. Um, and let's go up. It doesn't have to be perfect. You, you can go, you know, you can animate as, a, as you please, as you want, it's, it's fine. So now it's gonna travel here, zoop, and then travel back, zoop. And, but we want, while uh, at frame 50, we want that the uh, grab empty is, is um, leaving the cube at the happy place. So let's do that. Let's do that. Um, here we go, and um, 
we're gonna do it in this way. We just say copy, duplicate uh, the constraint settings. So we don't have to change many things, you know, that's the advantage in this case. And let's say I'm gonna just go a little bit back so I can see both. It's easier. And I would like to change this one because we duplicated that. Um, I'm gonna pick now happy place. So and right now you can see because this is the influence is turned on to 100% or to one, you know, either it's turned on or it's turned off. But because you can change this, it's also percentages to me. Um, so to it's turned on completely, but we only want it to be turned on. To be turned on. <laughs> it's 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. So at 50, frame 50, we want it to be turned on. And nonsense, uh, nonsense. Uh, let's. Um, technically yes, but we want to have a smoother transition. So, but let's not do that for smooth transition because it's too complicated to explain. So let's just turn um, so at frame 50. This one is going to be turned on. Um, and before. Let's say 49. We say no, it's not. It's not been turned on. It's turned off. So turned off. Turned off. Okay. So from from frame, it can be zero to it. I just want to stick to to what I had before. Doesn't matter. From frame one to frame 49, um, this one is inactive. That's the best way to describe it. But from frame 50 on, it becomes active. So, and now you see, boop, let's play the animation, zip, and it, bye bye, like this. Uh, okay, that's, a, I think this is a great description. That's, that's what, you know, what people should describe. This is bye bye, this is hello. <laughs> so, and you can see, whoop, uh, we left the, the cube at the happy place. Now let's go a, f a step further, or let's just fix the transition. Um, let's not fix the transition because it's overdone. Um, but this area, just keep in mind, if you play around with stretching the transition between, um, just keep that in mind, you can smooth the animation. I'm not gonna say more because you can also ignore that. If this is overwhelming, you forget what I just said. Just do that. It's hard enough already. If you can do it like this already without the third one, it's also great. You know, Just stop where you, if this is, Oh, I think I got it. I have to do it. Stop here. Try to do it right now, and then then you're gonna be um, happy. You know, it's it's like really baby steps. It's 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 like that. And if you're a pro, you're probably like, <laughs> I wouldn't do that. <laughs> yeah, I would use physics. Of course, you would physic use physics, and I also think about physics. Yeah, ah, well, that's not good. Okay. okay, let's continue. Let's continue. Um, Let's you go to the left, then it's dropping, and you go back in the middle. And um, I want to continue now. So if you're ready, let's continue um, with um, animating the grab. Just a grab, ignoring this for now. Or let's, yeah, just a grab. We want to have the grab going out to the right side. And we say at frame 150, the grab shall be here. And we say, uh, Press I, but this is you know another keyframe. Maybe I forgot to mention that you have, just if you hover in the mouse into the into the Blender window, and you press I, then you get the keyframe. Uh, for sure, maybe it doesn't work. Auto. Anyway, you're gonna figure this out. This one I think you you, you can do. Um, but uh, let me know if not. Uh, but I'm not sure when I read, read the comments. I'm uh, right now if I upload anything, I, I don't dare to watch. <laughs> How how the video is making? I'm I'm not gonna do this anymore. This is uh um I I leave it a few days and then I will check it out. It's easier for me to handle this stuff. Also, if I see a comment, I I I think it's I'm happy with people write me stuff because you know I'm happy to talk about my stuff. If I don't write back, that's because it takes a lot of effort for me to write stuff. I'm bad with writing, and it's a lot of time. So I rather just talk about. Uh, I keep you with things in mind, but I. Not all of them, but uh, um, some of you guys I keep in mind. I still have the mesmerizing guy in my mind. Um, 
Okay, it's, it's another. Okay, I get distracted. So, um, 150. We are here. Uh, that's great. Let's jump to. Bum, 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 bum. Um, yeah, let's jump to 125. And you see how easily I, am, I can get distracted. Then I have to refocus. Um, and I'm going to go up. Like that. Let's go up like this. This doesn't have to be accurate, you know? Just um, some little uh, between animations. And press I again. Now let's check out the animation. And that's good. But now let's go back to the original position at, let's say, 100 and, no, let's say 200. Back to the original position. Here we go. Keyframe. Go to um where the heck are we um yeah uh 100 this has not you don't have to be like exactly in the middle you feel free to animate it in any way you know you don't have to be like super accurate with that this is really not overdone it's it's like because it's good for video maybe it's cleaner but for yourself you don't have to do it in this way make a mess animate it the way you want um yeah, another keyframe. Boing. Boing. That's already funny to me. That's one. Um, the first things about Blender when I did my very first animation. It was so funny when things are moving. Uh, it's very satisfying. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Keep moving. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do it right. Yeah, look at you. Look at you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. Let's continue. Okay, let's now we have the just hiding this. We just you know have basically this animation, boop, and uh, hiding stuff. You know, with H you hide stuff and you unhide stuff with um, pressing Alt, holding down Alt, and then H again and you unhide stuff. Okay, um, yeah. Now we have the animation. So our, our uh, cube, cube doesn't have a name. Cube doesn't need a name. Cube is um, following. Uh, you know, is um, right now copying the location of um, grab and then at at um, fifth frame 50 this will be overwritten by location 2 now location 2 determines everything so boom and i made a crucial mistake here because we cannot grab it back so I had to. I forgot to. We need to get uh, uh, up, but that's okay. It's fix. It's easily fix fixable. So let's say frame 100. We need to go back one more time. Um, and let's for that. It's also you know, you we can just um, select those keyframes after for uh, 100. Press G, press X, and then just to the right. And then open this little window before you, you know, uh, sorry, press G, press X, move the mouse left and right, and then press left click somewhere. And then we go to the transform and we say we want to just increase, uh, put them to the right side, um, like just 100 frames, yeah, to the right side. So now you, you know, those keyframes are just, uh, you know, accurate. Uh, and we have now increased the timeline here too. Let's say we stop at 301. Or three, no, what's the right thing? Actually, I think it should be 299. But uh, let's just 300, it's fine. So you can see it also for yourself better. So now we have to fill in this, the, the gap. We have to go back. So let's do that quickly. We go to 150. Um, um, old G will also reset the position. If you press Old G, Everything goes back to its original position. And let's put it to the left again. I insert a keyframe. Um, we go to 125. And we say bum 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 bum. I again. And nonsense. We say go up. Very much up. And say I again. Let's see. Zip. Boom. Boom. And now it's going back to the oh yeah, what a weird animation. Where is it, where is it going? Like here, 
Okay, maybe we can drag this back to... Ah, because I think I just like when it's jumping into the middle. Shall we do that? Yeah, let's animate that. Yeah, I know it's now it's a little bit of a mess, but again, the principle will still remain the same. Um, or you know what, let's just leave it like that. That's also fine, whatever. Um, okay, so let's go back. So frame O, frame zero is um, having the cube. At frame 50, um, the cube will um, now uh, stick with the happy place empty. And um, then when our grab is coming back, we we wanna we wanna be yeah the grab shall pick it up again. So that means the the second the happy place copy location of the happy place still overrides the copy location of the grab, and we want to um, to disable that. And so we say at this frame of 100 and uh, 49, we press I uh, while hovering with the mouse over the influence, and then 150, we call it frame 150, we say um, the influence should be at zero again, and press I again. So now it's disabled. So the copy location two of happy place is only enabled for this period of time. And then let's see what happens when we play the animation. And now it's disabled and it means that automatically uh, first location will be applied. So that's the advantage again. Then we can uh, minimize that again. And um, also see what happens now. Yeah. So and now we want to lose the, the, key, the, the cube. <sighs> on on sad place. That's where everything eventually is ending up. <laughs> and so let's do that. Um, let's go to one hundred uh, two hundred and fifty. Two hundred and fifty. Can happen that I say just weird numbers which is are not existing because I'm so distracted that I don't realize that. Uh, that's you know. Yeah. What can I do? What can I do? do, 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 do? Um, let's say. Yeah, so now we want to have a third place. So we have the grab place, we have happy place, we need the sad, uh, the sad place. So we're going to duplicate this one, uh, go a little bit, or oh, hiding the cube for now. No, we're just going to go back. So uh, we open the duplication. That's very important, don't forget that. Um, clear this because if we duplicated that. Target now should be sad place. Either you pick it like that, or you pick it here in the outliner or something. Yeah. So choose set place, and now let's um, make sure that the third position now overrides the 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 first two. So the first the third copy location will override both of whatever is above, and that's good. So we're gonna go to basically it's the same thing. It's just a little bit confusing, but it's, we're doing the same thing. Um, so at frame. 250, we say uh, influence location or active. Uh, so at, at two, frame 250, uh, copy location set place is not enabled. Now we press um, I. Sorry, I'm putting this to um, 400, uh, 249. And then 250, we say this shall be enabled, 100% enabled. Um, and make another keyframe again. And now it uh, doesn't work. That's unexpected. But okay, um, then we have to deal with that. So, no, no, it works. What am I talking about? It completely works fine. I was just, for some reason, I was just, yeah, completely <coughs> works. <laughs> uh, oh boy. Um, I was just uh, focusing on the grab and uh, for whatever reason. Anyway, so now let's. Check out the whole animation. Boom, boom, boom. And this is a good way to, you know, 
grab your stuff. There is a little bit of roughness when the animation re restarts, you know. If you want to make a like like an endless animation, you should let uh, you should stop where you started basically and then play around with the length of the timeline then you have like an endless loop going on uh, with a nice transition but actually i think this this shows the principle you know i would as good as i can right now and it wasn't meant to be a tutorial but uh, i like talking about this stuff and i think sometimes it's 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 nice to explain things and while doing that i also can it make it stick better into my head so that's good. Um, yeah, so this is the principle. Um, and because it's a hangout video, I'm just gonna ignore that now. Oh, maybe I forgot. Yeah, I forgot that. Look at this. Mm. Oh no, oh no, sad place. Right? Oh, I'm so happy. Look at me, look at me. Oh, look at me. Oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> oh no <laughs> so that's done um, yeah I wanted to check something with the um, I'm not gonna save this guy I wanted to check is this my original thing yeah program yeah so my idea was to show you guys actually uh, to do it together with um, physics instead of that using physics because i think um, that makes sense it's possible to do that and it's also something where i'm um, still learning a lot i mean i i understand the principle of, of using physics um, with richard buddy and stuff like this but um, um, in this case i think scale and other things play a role and um, i would like to experiment with this so my idea was to um, add to my robot arm some simple objects very simple which will be then the physics the richer body and so we would be able to pick up the the, the can um it's technically possible but i think i'm gonna use rather an animation because my my environment in which my car uh, is gonna be assembled um in its own way if you want then it's it's it, there are so many things going on having physics in that as well would force me to bake the physics and baked physics are eventually in my opinion um more accurate animations you know so meaning it's it's too heavy it's not necessary and this although i like the robot arm already took more time than i expected um and it uh, yeah it's not a huge deal in the animation anyways it's just a little thing i thought it's funny i'm not even sure it's, if it's funny depending on where i position this guy um yeah yep yay oh, this is just another thing i'm not gonna go into this this yeah the lights are gone but it's you know yeah so you know what guys i i'm getting tired now i wanted to to, to, to play around with the physics now explain something let's just see if i upload this video <laughs> um yeah i think so did i huh what's happening that it's not working anymore look at this i, I shouldn't save that huh disable that so yep no it's still not working oh no it is working what the heck is going on right now eh? ah i see Yep, that's an advantage, but also this. I mean, in this case it was a little bit stupid, but actually it's an advantage because you can really just turn it on and off again, you know, like um, and and make it a little bit easier for you to handle things. Oh yeah, maybe I should show this because this is also something new to me. I did this yesterday, first time. I never played with those ideas um, before, but this one is interesting. Let's let's see if I let's just leave it like that. So. Um, I think it's also animated, so we have to go in post mode now. Oh boy, so many things going on here. What could I hide? Extras, yeah. Relationship lines, yeah. Outline, no outline, it's okay. Just make it a little bit cleaner. So this guy, now you can see it's an action. Um, I never really played with those things and I'm still... Um, so basically those bones 
um, those bones all have a constraint which is called action. So they have an animation um, set up, saved as an action, and uh, then another object or a bone can trigger an animation. Basically, that's what it is. It's like a little program. So if I push this guy, a program will tell that uh, please play the animation. That's my understanding. That's I think that's yeah the easiest way to understand that. And I set up so that depending on where I push position the bone, it will do this or that. Um, so this is yesterday I, I created this thing. And uh, yeah. Yeah, so this is how I planned around with this one. Okay, yeah, again, I would I would have liked to, to but I, I can see this takes too much time now. Uh, I didn't meant to, to show the principle, but I did. Um, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, again, happy about comments, but, you know, if I don't re re reply, that's just simply, it's just taking too much time for me, too much effort, and um, but it makes me happy. So if you write something, I'm, I'm reading it at some point in, in my life. Um, but uh, also you don't have to, you know, to do what you want, do you're completely free. Um, also you don't have to like anything um, because I, I also do this depending on how, what kind of mood I am in. Sometimes I give a like, sometimes I don't, even if it deserves one. <laughs> it's really depending on, on my mood, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm not doing dislikes. Um, you can do that, I mean, it's, it's free. I just yell at someone, and I only do that if something is really, really bad, like um, um, you know, like I maybe I had this done four times. Yeah. In music-wise, more often because this is stupid. The, the YouTube music is stupid when it when you don't want to have it in a playlist. It sometimes doesn't disappear. So if you make music. That's a stupid system for of YouTube, I think. Um, also, the problem is when you're just saying this. Um, when you have a music channel, and because this bothers me, when I have a mu when you have a music channel and you press the, um, uh, you you want to support someone who makes his own music, but you don't want to necessarily have it in your playlist. You press the like button; it's gonna be automatically in your in your liked playlist. And yeah, I don't know. That's that's really stupid because then you rather don't you know support someone. And although it's actually worth, so if you make music, keep that in mind. Maybe people like your stuff. It's just they they don't want to have it in a playlist, you know. Um, so what I usually do if I really want to support, I change my account <laughs> so that it's not appearing on my playlist. Anyway, but the point is you can you can do whatever you want, you know. That's that's the principle. Just mention it because you know why not. Good. It's too much blah, blah, blah. Anyways, I'm going to go now. Bye-bye.